Who can resist a spud as big as this, huh? Uh, celebrating Idaho DLC's first anniversary, let's go and join the fun Idaho Spuds event. Let's do this. Hey guys, Lumsy here. Welcome back to ATS. It's nice to be back. 141 is here. Map mods and all the other mods are getting updated. We have Pro Mods for Canada. We have Reforma getting updated as well. And we have this big spud right here. Thanks to SCS recreating the real trailer. Big Idaho Potato Tour with uh, social media links in there. Some nutritional facts, heart. Healthy. Ooh, fat and cholesterol free. A potato has only about 110 calories. I like that. It's cr making me crave for french fries, although that might be a bit of a different health concern. Anyway, let's get started here. We are currently in Idaho Falls, I believe. We'll be making our way to Salmon. And I'll be uh, telling you more about this event from SES. Very nice of them to recreate it. Anyway, let's do this. W900 by John Ruda. Cat 3406 by Zmod, of course. How can I try anything else? Ah, uh, music to my ears. Alright, let's go. One second. There it is. It's not going to be a very long trip, although it should be a very scenic one if I remember correctly. Because any road that goes to Salmon should be a pretty scenic tour with all the cliffs and all the rocks that will be passing through. Man. Not a lot of videos recently of truck sim in the channel. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, I'm pacing myself. But yes, don't worry about it. It will come, right? When there's something new, when there's something great. I would not be able to resist trying it out, just like this event. So I'm sure some of you guys have finished the event already. Not a very hard event to finish. For me, I'm just only starting out now. This is my first job of the event. And uh, wish me luck. But yes, for those who are not familiar, we are having an Idaho Spots event in World of Trucks. Where the rules of the game are basically, you have to haul potatoes from Idaho. So Idaho just celebrated its first year anniversary since its release and uh, as a form of celebration SCS decided to create an event. Very nice, very good idea from them. They decided to recreate this trailer, the big Idaho potato. And uh, to join the event, basically you just go to any Idaho city and hope that there is an external contract or external uh, market hauling potatoes. So the rules of the game, you have to haul six jobs from Idaho should be carrying potatoes, six jobs from Idaho to any other city. It has to be a minimum of a hundred miles though. And in addition to those six potato jobs, you have to haul this big Idaho potato. So it's six plus one, total seven jobs. And then you'll finish it. And I think if you finish it, you should be getting, hmm, if I remember correctly, I think you get like a some cabin accessories, like a, oh, what was that? Like potato chips or something, and then a salamander badge or something like that. But yeah, for me, the, 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 the rewards are not as big a deal as just the event itself, you know? giving you a reason to drive more and it's nice revisiting Idaho Idaho is always a scenic tour even though the roads are kind of limited it's a very small state still overall whenever I go through here whenever I pass through here it never fails to give me a smile and it never fails to for me to uh, summon the newly improved photo studio with 141 so how have you guys been enjoying 141 recently? 
I've been in 141 for quite a while because I've been I joined since the experimental beta and since then they've been adding they've been doing bug fixes they've been adding features although not a lot but it's mostly polishing right so mostly removing bugs and increasing stability especially for convoy and I think they've done a very good job at that now by the way speaking of convoy thanks to everyone who joined us last Friday when we had the charity stream to be honest I didn't do such a good job of doing the charity stream didn't manage to uh, to collect a lot of donations not my forte but it's good to try and maybe next time I'll do a better job but uh, yeah maybe I should have been a bit more pushy huh <laughs> maybe I'm too nice uh, but uh, maybe next time I'll do better nonetheless we had some fun we enjoyed the convoy some rowdy moments but uh, all in all pretty cool so if you want to check that out that should be in the channel already and thankfully YouTube graced us with its presence this time it didn't hang in the HD processing as it of most often does these days for me YouTube doesn't like me very much these days but uh, that stream footage in particular of the convoy pro HD processing finished quite fast so no worries about that at all so you can watch it in full 1440 60 glory Ooh, a nice plane I'm taking off there all right so let's see we have 189 miles to go i hope we're going the right direction here but yeah it might be it's only 189 miles but i have a feeling it's going to take us like uh quite a longer time than usual because we're not really going through highways here as far as i remember so feast your eyes on some scenic sights <clears throat> should be very relaxing or was that a guy on top of the bales looks like, looks like he was having fun farm sim <clears throat> farm sim is uh, making its way back starting to miss it again Come November, we might have Farm Sim again in the channel. We'll see how that goes. Because Farm Sim 22 should be out. Should have some pretty nice new features. Built in seasons and whatnot. Excited to check it out. There was a car once again. Okay, he stopped, thank you. Man. It's so hard to change trucks these days of Z mod I know many of you guys can relate so hard to switch trucks because you lose the interior sounds that super crunchy gear shifting sound and everything else that comes with it the jingling keys the engines we're, we're a bit more flexible with that because the engines from Z mod there are a lot of other trucks that are compatible with it Many of the famous trucks are included. Oh, we are on a highway. Kind of ish. Not really an interstate, huh? But still, 65 miles, I'll take it. That's faster than the interstate in California, at least. Good. Signage looks pretty good as well. I saw well in advance that the right lane was ending, thanks to that sign. So I could merge easily enough. Break it out. Also, the switch. Ah, the switch is now fixed. Nice. Yes, indeed. Last time I remember that was not working for me for some reason. Oh, and by the way, yes, I remember. Like, I think it was what? One week or two weeks ago, we were streaming the Australia Outback map mod by Rob Vickers. Very interesting map, huh? Very different vibes much different than the ones we are used to in these kinds of roads and then you guys have been telling me that there's actually a pretty large Australian community in trucking in truck sim in ATS and there are actually a lot of like Facebook pages and uh, a lot of freeware and the payware both of both kinds of uh, mods that focus on the Australian setup 
So different kinds of trucks. Maybe higher suspension to survive those rough roads. Different looks. But like, uh, yeah, more Australian trucks than American trucks. We'll probably get into those once the Australia scenery gets more and more developed. So looking forward to exploring that as well. Yes, we'll give it some time so it matures even more. Till then, we have plenty of roads to discover. I am personally super excited to get back to Canada. I'm so happy that Promotes Canada is back. It's been a while since we've been there, right? And even though the number of roads are less, there's always quality over quantity when it comes to pro mods. Although, yeah, given that they've been here for such a long time, especially in ETS2, it became quality and quantity. But they've always prioritized quality over quantity and just uh, increased the roads through the years. Hopefully that's going to be true for ATS as well. For ATS, they're still pretty new. So quite uh, not as many roads, you can probably finish it in, I don't know, two or three hours, right? Something like that. But man, the views, absolutely stunning wherever you look. British Columbia. And I'm also excited to explore Reforma. Because there has been a big update in Reforma first and foremost, the free version is now available. So before, the 141 compatible version of Reforma was only available for patrons. But now that 141 is public, Eblem also released a free version of Reforma for 141s. So you don't have to be a patron to get the goodies. You should have the updated Reforma stuff. And I think this updated Reforma stuff, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys have been telling me that during the stream you, I think it includes a lot of fixes aside from a new remade area near the Mexico border I forgot which city it was I remember we went there it includes a ton of bug fixes and in particular fixes when it comes to mountains you know the disappearing the popping in mountains that's the one of number one immersion breaker these days aside from stutters there were quite a number of those in the last reformer version I tried, but uh, that has been eradicated, I believe, since then. Which is quite nice, thanks to the user feedback and the nice uh, system they have going on there. So he releases a beta version to patrons, and the patrons are very active. Actually, it's a win-win, right, for Eblem from Reforma, Team Reforma? In and out. Nice. Nice to see that actually is a nice, the real thing, the real uh, logo, not a fictional one. Thanks to that company mod I'm using from the Steam Workshop. I forgot the name, but it's in the mods list, okay? Link in the video description as always. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is my favorite part, guys. The Rocky Hills of Idaho. <laughs> I'm not sure what you call it officially, but <laughs> close enough, I guess. Alright, there you go. Uh, there it is. Beautiful. But yes, looks like... Oh yes, I was talking about Reforma, right? Eblem has such a brilliant uh, business model, I would say. Because he has a patron, right? Uh, so you can be a patron. You can pay to get early access to his map. And at the same time, you become a beta tester. So you're paying to become a beta tester. So instead, if you think about it, instead of him or them hiring people to beta test for them, the people who want to test actually are the ones paying them. <laughs> it's amazing. And there's no lo there are no losers in this, uh, in this um, kind of arrangement, right? It's not like he's taking advantage, they're taking advantage, no. Everyone is happy with their position. Everyone is who is becoming a patron is willingly doing that. And they know exactly what they're getting into. They're getting early access. And uh, they can become beta testers in addition. 
and a lot of people are very happy to do that. So it's a win-win-win. So Eblim has a real nice business model going on. I like it. And for us end users, we get the polished version at the end of it when he releases it for free. Yeah, actually I have, I'm a patron as well but I don't beta test because I'm lazy. Whenever I encounter bugs, I sometimes if it's like a game breaking bug, if it crashes or it's really a big like uh, immersion breaker even worse than popping ins, I report it but for those pop ins I just chalk it up to just a normal uh, graphics engine limitation. But apparently that's not the case. Yeah, Eblem specifically said if we see any more of those pop-ins, we should report them as bugs because those should be uh, workable now. Grand View Canyon, I think that's the official term. Oh, look at this view. Amazing sounds, amazing sights, amazing truck, and amazing potato. Yes, amazing potato. Why not? There you go. Don't go to external view that often, but for this potato, I will do so. I'll make an exception. Is this potato real though? I don't think so, right? I think it's more of a symbol. Are there rocks floating? Hmm, that might be an SES bug, huh? Raise a bug, guys. Rocks floating on the side of the road. <clears throat> Absolutely unplayable. Unsub. Refund. <laughs> That's the kind of environment we have these days. <laughs> oh, let's not let that go. Let's not be that. Anyway, I also got comments that people wanted to join the convoy. Um, yes, I'm hoping we get to do that more often. Um, but I think I'll have to refine the system a bit. Because first and foremost, we only have 8 slots for the official convoy. And the uh, last time, we actually filled it out. I was so surprised that we actually managed to fill out 8 people in the convoy. So we were happy bunnies. And Drive Safely joined us. I'm uh, highlighting Drive Safely because you guys might know him. He's the guy who did the sound fixes mod that we are all enjoying. We have all been enjoying since the beginning of ATS. Look at that. It's like something from Fallout. But yes, that drive safely graced us with his presence and joined us for the convoy. I hop. Oh, nice. I like this real company mod. Real gas stations, real establishments, H&M there. Very nice. Sorry guys, I've been looking left and right. <laughs> Another in and out. Although this one is still a Chevron. That's a Chevron, but that was still a Chevron. Oh, I might need the real gas stations back, huh? Hmm, I have to think about that because the real gas stations revival project mod I'm using before. I think fix those shemrons. Anyway, all good, all good. And no stutter so far. Keeping my fingers crossed, I might have just jinxed it. But yeah, normally ATS is a bit better when it comes to that because I guess the, the map is smaller. Even if you're hauling your own trailer, which is very prone to stutters in ETS too. In ATS, I don't think it's a thing just because the map is smaller. So normally, for me personally, ATS is a lot smoother. Although the driving, my driving in particular, I can't say the same thing. We almost stepped over there, if you guys noticed. <laughs> I kind of downplayed it for a bit, but uh, I was kind of lifting off my seat there, trying to control the truck. Don't worry, the potato is still there. Good. Good. Nice. And actually, all the things I've been mentioning seems like things that are happening in ATS, huh? Hmm. ATS 2 has been updated to 141 as well, but I'm waiting for Pro Mods. Without Pro Mods, it's not the same thing. And I think I can wait. I'm not that excited for Convoy in ETS 2 because there are no mods yet. And without mods, sticking to the default map, sticking to default sounds, not as enthusiastic about that. In ATS, it's fine because the, the map in ATS is a lot more refined. With the DLCs, the, the roads are very nice. 
except in the very old areas but in general with the newer DLCs it's great in ETS2 I think there are a lot more older areas than newer ones so it's not as immersive so not a lot going for ETS2 but if you guys have heard of a nice mod that you want me to try out let me know in the comments can't promise to do it but we will see but yes uh, sorry, really, really sorry guys about the videos not being an everyday thing anymore But yes, I really have to pace myself so that I don't uh, have another burnout and uh, I will make videos for sure when something piques my interest so much something like this, you know huge 141 update all the maps getting updated and uh, big Idaho event how can I miss that? But yes, in some cases, in the past few days, when there are no videos, that just means I don't find anything that really like heightens my interest, uh, picks up my attention that much. So I'm kind of charging up until the, the thing that I really like, that really interests me, comes out. So that whatever I put out in the channel, I have 100% a full interest in it and hopefully that reflects in the quality of the videos so going for really quality over quantity this time but for those who are new to the channel welcome don't worry there are tons of truck simulator content in the channel already I know a lot of folks have been uh, uh, perusing the past content I've been seeing comments from older streams from older videos like videos from years ago because I've been watching some of them like when they come when people comment I, I look at it and it's like oh wow the graphics actually still looks good from before because we had such amazing mods before as well to make up for the lack of uh, default content now we're getting great stuff with default content so a lot more optimized, a lot more, uh, uh, a lot easier to access, you know, no need for fancy mods, but... Hey, what's up? Oh, crap. Apparently it's night already. Okay, and this is our parking slot. Good. Um, how the heck do, do I have to reverse it? That might be a problem. Maybe I have had to enter through here. Yikes. Well, we'll see. Let me hug this right side. But anyway, yeah guys, for those who are wondering, I know I got some comments about that. Like, why don't you post videos anymore, they say. Don't worry, just pacing myself. I'm still here. Just not going to be an everyday thing. It depends on the content available and did i hit myself somewhere sorry potato <laughs> looks like there will be a huge eye in that potato now oh crap i don't think this is going to be enough guys should have entered through here in reverse bone disaster coming in keep your fingers crossed we're going to need it uh, oh it looks like we're making it oh ho, 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 we made it good look at that guy what is he sorting there it's pretty cool okay good okay we managed to reverse or to uh, face the opposite side now can we manage the reverse we will see turn 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 it's looking good look at my left mirror here guys just trying to make sure not turning too sharp actually forgot where that parking slot was and <laughs> thanks to this huge stack, I can't see anything out of that side. Oh, I'm not turning sharp enough for this. Not turning sharp enough at all. Let's do that one more time. Good. Right, let's 
Let's make that sharper. Like so. Maybe not too much. Because I think we'll hit that corner. Yeah, that might be too much. One second. Let's go to the magic view up here. Okay, there you go. That might actually work. Maybe. Look on the right side. Okay, you still have space here. That's good. Turn sharper. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Also having an 8x4 chassis is not helping me in this case, but... Might just make it, huh? We might just make it because I have enough space here on the right. That's looking good. It's going to be turning out to be a blind side reverse, but... Should be okay on that side, I think. Let's take it slow, let it turn on its own. Oh yeah, there it is. Come on, make it work. Is that how it is? Yes. Looking good. Looking good right there. Turn it a bit through on this side. Wow. Not too bad. Okay. Mm, not perfect, but maybe the game will accept it. Alright. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> perfect just before the sunset. Alright. So, let's drop it off, get paid, and I will do more jobs. This time with potatoes, because this should actually trigger that job that 6 plus 1 job requirement this plus 1 is it this big potato the big Idaho potato delivered from Idaho Falls to salmon perfect okay so now if you look here we should have one out of seven because we should have six deliveries of potatoes and one delivery of the big Idaho potato so that one We've done now, so now I still have to do six potato deliveries, and that would entail having like external contracts over here. How do you find potatoes though? Yeah, if you have tips on how to find potatoes, let me know because I don't think you can do that here, right? Oh, it is working. It is working. Okay, so you can search by by the cargo now, not just the destination. Cool. Right, there's nothing here though. I heard similar similar problems from other folks. Yeah, might have to be. But the good thing is you can do like this um, quick travel now, right? If you don't find anything, even refreshing, quick travel to a city and then look there. That saves a bit of time instead of teleporting. Anyway, if you have tips on how to find that, let me know. But I'll be on the lookout. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Catch you in the next video. Looking forward to your comments and bye bye. Clumsy trucking.